Roller coasters are everywhere these days, from the local county fair to the largest of the theme parks, and almost everyone has been on one at some point. The evolution of the coaster over time is nothing short of amazing as each new one seems to offer something higher, faster, and more breathtaking. I'm Reacher, and with that in mind, we're bringing you 25 of the most thrilling and heart-pounding roller coasters in the world. First opening in January of 2002 as X, this one at Six Flags Magic Mountain in Valencia, California was the world's first fourth dimension coaster. It closed down in December 2007 to be turned into X2, reopening about five months later with special effects that include a sound system and a pair of flamethrowers. If you've never ridden a 4D coaster, then you need to find one and make it happen. The seats are designed in a way that allows them to rotate forward or backward 360 degrees in a controlled spin while extending off the track. Riders pass under the flamethrowers right before entering the second Raven Loop with a half twist finishing off the ride as it enters the final brake run. All in all, this one, which takes just over two minutes to complete, should be ridden after dark to get the full experience from the special effects. Number 24. Going through a coaster ride can be a stomach-churning event for some of the toughest people, so why not take it one step further and throw in spinning cars? Well, apparently someone has a sadistic side, as the time traveler at Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri did just that. Opening in March of 2018, the 100-foot-high coaster had to be custom-designed to the terrain of the Ozark Mountains, ending up with a track 3,020 feet long and a ride time just under two minutes. This unique arrangement means there's no lift hill as the train drops 90 feet vertically before entering into a dive loop at just over 50 miles per hour. Coming out of this, it heads into two consecutive turns before reaching the first of two in-ride launches. After a momentary stop, the train accelerates to 47 miles per hour before entering a banked curve and continuing into a 95-foot vertical loop. Currently, the time traveler lays claim to the world records of the most inversions on a spinning coaster at three, as well as being the fastest, steepest, and tallest of its kind. Number 23. Surprisingly, Tatsu is the only flying coaster on this list, but it's the one you need to ride since as far as flyers go, it shares the speed record at 62 miles per hour and holds the height record at 170 feet. It's also the only one with a zero-g roll and it has the world's tallest pretzel loop. So if you make your way to Six Flags Magic Mountain in Valencia, California, be sure and give it a go. This style of coaster has the rider laying with their back parallel to the track instead of standing or sitting, which means you're always facing the ground or staring out into the ether. And with the structure of this one built on the side of a mountain, the elevation changes provide even more of a unique thrill to the two minute ride.
An inline twist finishes off the ride, adding another 3,602 feet to the amazing part of your life. Number 22. Seriously, just watching this one causes my brain to make weird noises. So if you're over in England, somebody high five the person at Alton Towers who authorized building the Smiler as this fantastic convoluted mess of a coaster is my new personal favorite. At the top, it plunges into a third 180 degree drop, which banks into a corkscrew. The final stretch puts riders through a sea serpent roll, a small airtime hill, and a dive into a cobra roll, as well as two back-to-back -back corkscrews. In the center of it all is a feature called the Marmalizer, whose five legs serve to make the riders smile through various functions. All told, it's 3,838 feet of track, twisting in and through itself up to 98 feet high, are set up in a way that allows for the operation of up to five trains at once while hitting just under 53 miles per hour. Throughout all of this are a total of 14 inversions, which set a world record when it opened in 2013, and this one is not likely to be broken anytime soon. Number 21. Dive coasters have only been around roughly a quarter of a century, but in that time they've become a must-have item for anyone's coaster bucket list. When Busch Gardens Tampa built Sheikra in 2005, it was the first to offer this feature to the masses of North America, and it did so times two. Coincidentally, two is also the number of years the coaster was open before someone took the initiative and made it floorless because why not increase the fear factor? If you like alternating between holding your breath and screaming, then riding this one should be the best two minutes and 20 seconds of your day. Number 20. To the random person, a coaster ride that is less than a minute long and 863 feet in length doesn't sound like much. But to the aficionado, it just reinforces the adage that dynamite comes in small packages. Skyscream, a launch coaster built in 2014 at Germany's Holiday Park, may be short in both time and length, but it more than makes up for it through the experience. The horror-themed ride starts with a small launch forward, providing momentum just short of enough to reach maximum altitude. Coming back again, it's relaunched up a 90 degree twist, reaching its top speed of 62 miles per hour, as well as its maximum height of 150 feet. Number 19. 
Rougarou is the first floorless coaster at Ohio Cedar Point, having opened in 2015 when it was converted from an older stand-up coaster. Starting this two and a half minute ride is a 145 foot lift hill with a small 180 degree turn at the top that might give you pause as most coasters are already dropping at this point. So about the time you start to wonder, everything kicks in and reminds you not to think on your own. The first drop, like most, gets the riders up to the top speed. Almost immediately, you enter into a 119-foot vertical loop over a small lagoon, followed by a dive loop, a non-inverting overbanked turn, and a leaning incline loop. Finishing out the 3,900-foot-long track is a corkscrew into a figure eight. If looking down and seeing nothing but air below your feet while traveling at up to 60 miles per hour is kind of your thing, then this one is probably one of your favorites. Number 18. When it opened to the public in May of 2018, the Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster at Six Flags Fiesta Texas in San Antonio was a first of its kind. Not as a single rail, but as the first to use the Raptor track, which allowed the use of a train just one seat wide. The 1,800-foot ride lasts just under a minute, which doesn't sound like enough time, but this one doesn't stop throwing you around until the moment you hit the brake run. The train hits its highest point at the top of the 113-foot lift hill before dropping vertically 100 feet and hitting a top speed of 52 miles per hour, then entering a tunnel and into a dive loop. It finishes up with a drop into a cutback and a corkscrew before going into one last overbanked turn. Number 17. Located in Sandusky, Ohio, on a small peninsula bordering Lake Erie is the Cedar Point Amusement Park. Right in front is a wing coaster that is aptly named Gatekeeper. Opening in 2013, it featured the highest inversion in the world at the time with a height of 170 feet. Right after this, there's a 164-foot drop that has riders reaching 67 miles per hour while experiencing up to four Gs. Other features of the 4,164-foot track include an Immelman loop, six inversions, and a 360-degree roll while simultaneously passing through two 100-foot-tall towers that straddle the entrance to the park. All in all, it only takes two minutes to complete, which is either too short or too long depending on how resolute you are. Number 16. What started as a roadside food stand in the 1920s evolved into Knott's Berry Farm in Buena Park, California. Rising over the park's boardwalk area since May of 2018 is a surf-themed infinity coaster having the fitting moniker of Hang Time. Riders are momentarily suspended at the highest point of 150 feet before descending into a 96 degree beyond vertical drop. All told, the 2,189 foot long ride reaches speeds up to 57 miles per hour and puts the riders through five gravity defying inversions, including a negative G stall loop during the two and a half minute ride. A feature worth noting is the chase lighting on the track, which makes a nighttime ride part of anyone's to do list. I'm Allie, and it's Mind's Eye Trivia Time by looking at just these images. 
you know what this is and where it's from? Leave the correct answer or your best guess in the comment section below.